Yeah, good afternoon, uh, my Edo people. My name is Collins Imudia. I barely come on live video, but I've just been too provoked that I had to come out and speak. I'm not speaking because I want my voice to be heard for people to discuss in their bedrooms. I'm speaking because I think common sense is not common. Now, it may interest some of us to see, if you go through my profile this morning, you'll see where I put a post saying, foolishness of a bank. My people, they have given us a policy, stay at home policy, during this COVID battling. And we really um, obeyed the government by really staying at home, yeah? But while we are home, we don't have light, okay? We don't have food. And when I say we, I'm not saying me particularly. I'm saying Niger Edo people, Nigeria. We don't have food. And they are saying nobody goes to the market no more. Nobody does this, nobody does that. Well, many Nigerians are busy donating to the government as a people. Take the likes of Otedola, take the likes of uh, Aliko Dangote, take the likes of Atiku, you know, two, two Baba and others, donating to the government. One billion, 30 million, 10 million. Okay, we understand all those their donations, widows, my thank you very much, my people. Now, I can't call that foolishness because that is Nigerian citizens supporting to combat a particular disease, deadly one. Though we know the government will share the money, spend some for the purpose anyways, because while I was watching news yesterday, I, uh, there was a press conference for the Minister of Health and the, pre the, the journalists were asking them, now this money, what is it going to be spent for? And one of the respondents said that even Aliko Dangote had said this afternoon that he wants to know what they need the money for. The breakdown of what they want to buy. Everything. Because he knows the government. That is giving this money to them. They are going to siphon it. You understand? So, But that's not my problem. My major problem now is the banks. I'm coming to the bank. I'm just interested in Nigeria banks. We saw the whole donations coming in. The next thing you saw was UBA donating one billion. Um, the other bank donating one billion. Bros, you are donating it to the wrong people. That's the truth. UBA needs to know. Uh, First Bank needs to know. Nigerian citizens have been, mo uh, they have been told to stay at home. If you really love this, your people, the donations should not go to federal government. You have all our bank accounts. You have our BVN. Let all the banks come out and say, uh, on behalf of UBA, we are crediting all our customers with 30,000 Naira each. Divide the 1 billion you want to give to the Nigerian government by the amount of customers you have in your bank. And trust me, that person you say should stay at home will be able to say, go buy rice corn house, go buy Gary corn, we stay inside house. You are giving 1 billion Naira to the Nigerian government and they are sitting on it telling you they are doing, uh, we are importing isolation, we are importing materials for isolation center. Those things don't work with me. They don't work with me, for real, because you, if, if you really want to help your citizens, this money you are saying you are donating to the Nigerian government is not your money as a bank. You debit us for every transaction we do. Every month end, you come and tell us, uh, yes, this charge, service charge. You take our money. There are some of us who do online transfer, 1,000 Naira, maybe 10,000. And then you think it has gone. The person will say, will not go. You say, okay, tomorrow I'll go to the bank and complain. Because of commitment, you will just forget. And that money has gone to their pockets. Organ Nigerian banks, you are the most stupid banks in, in the whole world. If you know you want to help your citizens, since you know the kind of government we have in Nigeria, that they are not responsible. They are not responsible. Since you know they are not responsible, then you shouldn't be giving our own life savings to them. And you are coming to say you are helping us. You are not helping us, my man. If you want to help us, you will credit our account. You have our account numbers. You will credit our account. Everybody will be in their house and they will get a lot. Say, you be a share this one for this. First bank has shared for this. In fact, after the whole stagger, who does not have a bank account want to go and open? Because they know the benefit of having an account.
that when they are trying times, the bank will rescue its citizens. The customers you have, you are not giving them uh, anything. You are busy saying, I donate one billion. Guarantee Trust Bank, I delete that uh, one billion. Oga, you are not helping Nigerians. Stop. To me, that's a show of shame. You want to show yourself. Make the thing say during the period, this was what you did. You are not affecting the life of Nigerians. If you want us to stay at home and you are our main, uh, how would I put it now, a business ent entity that we, we as uh, citizens come to do business with you, most times you debit us unnecessarily. Most times you, you, you even, I don't know, they, they just send you service charge notification when it's not your time. And we don't quarter because we see it as a 52 naira no rich talk about. Bros, for every 52 naira that UBA, First Bank, GTB, Heritage Bank debits me and you, in across Nigeria, you know how many billion it be? Then you are coming to tell us that you want to give us, you want to help Nigerians. You are donating one billion naira to the government. With government where you know, say no go bring money for me and you. Bros, me, I know they quit talk, but if you see me come live video like this, you go no say the thing, don't touch me where we. We have an irresponsible government. Go to, go, just go to CNN and watch. See the way um, Donald Trump is making funds available for every stay at home citizen. You get. Go, go, go to Al Jazeera. See the way other governments are saying stay at home. We are donating, we are giving them bag of rice in their houses. Yet we are staying at home. We won't even go buy rice where we will keep for our own house. Now, now Nigerians can't inflate the price. A bag of rice is 30k. Which ought to be 18k before normal level. You just hear that there's a crisis in Nigeria. Uh, the next thing you are inflating price of bag of rice. Go and buy tomatoes. You you will not be able to even buy it anyways. You get and you as a fucking bank, the most useless group of people I have seen in Nigeria. Bankers, as in the bank itself. That one billion you say you gave to support us, don't be we you give. You bless the government. Because you don't reach our hand. If you are a bank, I tell your bank, see waiting on the much I already tell you now. The one billion naira UBA gave to federal government, GTB, Heritage Bank, First Bank, not be we you give get our account number. Una they debit us for every transaction where we do. Una they collect for service charge. So if you want to bless us as your people, Okay, let us see a lot. Transfer to our account. If you want to share one billion naira for your customers, divide how many customers you have by one million. One thousand rich us. Share and come on, get a lot. We're not go para. In fact, this kind of money, everybody go come Facebook, they shout, Thank you, UBA. Thank you. We are staying at home. Other than coming to tell us that you are helping us and then you are giving one million naira, one billion naira to the government. The government that you and I know very well that they are irresponsible. Not be lie. Very irresponsible people. Uh, me, I'm not a party politician, yes. But my kind of politics, not the one they do for America. Democracy not be all this one they do for here for Nigeria. Where you go day party, because you day party, fear not let you talk true. Guy man, me, I'm a truth fellow, okay? I fear nobody. I don't talk to people. I don't interfere in their affairs. But when it comes to issues that has to do with the common man, trust me, bros, me, I go para comma like this. I'm very, very Beast, to the see all these uh, messages, all this was it called? Now, so you be a donate one, uh, one billion, uh, first bank, one billion, they para me for head. Oh, God, not be we you give money to. You just bless Buhari and the Meru fight them. Not be we. Just get it clear. Because if you are an intelligent group of people, as a bank, you must have legal advisors. Why didn't you meet them? We want to impact on the life of Nigerians. Now that they are saying they should stay at home, how do we go about it? I believe some of those legal advisors will advise you. Hey, okay, this is what we should do. If we want to help our citizens, let's go by the way of crediting our customers directly. Let them be the one to speak out. Thank you, you be in Nigeria will say, wow. Not for you to say you give Nigeria one billion. What's my business? I've, okay, you gave Nigeria one billion and you told me to stay at home. Where's the money that I used to take for my family? Even the little money that we have now as citizens. Eh? We cannot even buy food because Nigerians draw here, stay at home. Everybody quickly buy what you have. They have inflated the bag of rice. They have inflated tomatoes. You cannot buy. In fact, if not for the fact that uh, fuel is something that federal government is monitoring by itself, uh, they would have increased the amount of fuel too because passengers have... Uh, I was watching a live video by my friend this morning who said um, that government has reduced fuel price to 125 and then... Uh, they are still transport system 
did not reduce, instead still increased. Uh, who I go blame? As you reduce fuel, the guys wants to reduce their own money that they used to collect. All right, and if these drivers are reducing the money they used to carry passengers now, you as a government, your levy does not change. If you are taking ticket of one thousand naira, it remains, even if they reduce fuel to eighteen naira. And the guy decide to say, man, the carry 13 naira. At the end of the day, he will walk 1,000 too. And you go bring ticket for around 1,000. So who are we to blame? We have an irresponsible government. So we should not be talking to uh, the people yet. So but for the banks that are my main concern, the banks, Una know well, not be lying, Una know well. I think so, intelligent people, now they control bank. But now I know so they don't get brain. Nigeria has enough money to take to fight covid on their own assistance in fact other supporters are coming bros inside this covid 19 now with the esa our lawmakers they, they pack exotic cars come for them you know i must be one you know i must be one where lawmakers they ship for themselves why did they not say uh, cancel this one cancel that our allowance use off to fight covid they are protecting their pocket and the ones that other women in nigerians who are businessmen are saying take to be able to fight and protect your own you are telling us that uh, 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 we, we want to help the citizens you are giving it to government you're not helping us my man you're not stop deceiving yourself as a bank you're not helping us with their house no war with their house no war everywhere good see me i'm sweating inside my car i have a few on a condition now the only option we don't get light you say me we stay house we don't get light yeah the government of the day now, even let's come to Edo State per se. We are here and then we've not been able, they are telling us to go and stay at home. Yet the government have not said each family want one bag of rice. And you are telling us to stay at home, you are pursuing market women. You say money not day Nigeria. How come when I go to see the money after they fight to myself for courts? When you show money and Obasek, you go to fall out, you yesterday go give one lawyer 500,000 naira, go give one judge 5 billion, say, may they protect them. The money won't say no day. Why don't they see and they splash? Now we go reach the common man to benefit that money. They not day. They wait for that. They wait, they wait for people. People are good minded people and I appreciate their. Oh, well, yeah, my people are here now. Your princess, how not day? Today now. <sighs> Quarantine something. She this here. Oxter day for the pepper soup. And this one I call like confirm one we get better at bone inside. This one a beef. And the spices right they use this one from worry. Hey. I get a get bread though. Fresh one where they squeeze like yansh. You go the order, you go the squeeze them, you go the chuka menta, you go the push and down. You go kind of commode. You go eat her. Um, uh, not be small matter. If, if. Oh, very sweet girl. Hey. You're a princess, Abiel. Where are you? Where are you?